Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. Having the North Node in Capricorn or the 10th house means that your South Node is in cancer or the fourth house so i can relate to you guys here because i have my north node in the 10th house so yes with north node in capricorn or the 10th house what comes natural to you is nurturing other people like basically uh your love for your home your private time your privacy like you find security in your privacy and not being too public not being out there like that's what makes you feel safe and secure in this world but with this north node placement in order to completely evolve and transform we are being called to become entrepreneurs or business people or even if not entrepreneurs or business people we are being called to step out and be seen in the world when it comes to our legacy, when it comes to whatever it is that we are known for, like maybe from past life, ex- from past life with this placement or because this placement comes so natural, like you might be feel, you might feel a pull when it comes to whether you want to be a parent or not, you know, whether you want to be a mother or not, whether you want to be a father or not, because even though the fourth house or, um, cancer energy representing you know the moon representing ruling over that energy and the south node being there that that also talks about our divine feminine energy you know and even though capricorn is a feminine sign i look at the fact that the moon the fourth house like cancer energy is hidden it's introverted where Capricorn in 10th house is out in the open. You know, it's extroverted. It's out there. Like everybody could see you. When you think of the natal chart, the 10th house is on top. You're standing on top of the mountain. You're standing on top of the hill. Like everyone can see you. And for us, you know, the idea of accepting that calling is a bit scary because we're so used to our privacy and being hidden away from everyone and everything our security when it comes to like having that time to ourselves and another thing too when it comes to cancer energy um and why it likes to hide itself it's like think about the hermit crab the hermit crab is spends its whole life trying to find shells to protect itself from the harsh ray of the sun And the harsh ray of the sun represents other people's egos. And what we fear the most that some of us are probably not aware of is the fact that when we are out there on top of that hill, on top of that mountain in public, we are going to be criticized. Like everybody can see our flaws. Like everybody can see our shortcomings. Like you can't hide anything. It's like being completely naked in front of everyone. And that's what we're being called to do. So, you know, like I mentioned with cancer energy having to do with feminine energy. And even though Capricorn is a feminine water sign, it's in a place where it's out there. It's like being extroverted, going outward. This might cause us to basically when it comes to our divine feminine energy, like, yes, it's naturally within us. And we are also being called to embody our masculine energy, our in, our extroverted energy. So for me, masculine energy is extroverted energy, is directing, moving energy. So with this placement, it's like it's time for us to come out of that nurturing space of nurturing a dream, nurturing a idea, nurturing a inspiration or whatever, and put ourselves out there in front of other people, like I like I am putting myself out there in front of you guys and having all kind of interesting experiences because I've had embarrassing moments on camera 
or whatever that like, you know, at the moment when it happened, I was so embarrassed, but now I'm like, man, who cares? That's normal or whatever. But if I was to think back, like years back having certain embarrassing moments like I'll share it with you because I don't care like for some reason when I record like my nose gets super itchy and I'll start rubbing it and I remember in one of my videos like I rubbed my nose and I didn't realize that a, a snot came out and was sitting on top of my nose and somebody commented below and was like, oh my God, is that snot on your nose? Ew, please do something about that. But thank you for the video. And it's like, you know, like my response was like, you know, like, oh, it's just not, I'm sure you've seen it before or whatever. But I felt, em I felt embarrassed, but I didn't feel that embarrassed because I've evolved to a place where I realized like, so what? Like it happened. I had, I didn't know it happened. I'll do better next time and it's just not but I mean I was able to cut the video out or whatever but like five years ago thinking of something like that happening publicly or me even telling y'all it happened like like I would be so embarrassed but now I'm like it's a part of being human you know what I'm saying it's a part of being human and if other people can't acknowledge the fact that they have accidents or they make mistakes or embarrassing things happen to them like that's their problem but like so what you saw snot on my nose like it's not the first time you saw a snot and if it is like I'm happy to be the one to introduce you to it but like anyways yes yeah, so with us having the south node and cancer it's like we want to protect ourselves from other people's ego other people pointing fingers and criticizing and things like that but in order for us to have a complete evolution in this life like we have to put ourselves out there and just be okay with putting ourselves out there and be okay with what comes with putting ourselves out there and realize that when people come at you negatively their negative comments towards you has nothing to do with you and has everything to do with their insecurities and what they're experiencing within themselves. It's like what I learned in school when it comes to public speaking. When you're sitting for in an audience and someone is messing up on their speech, observe how you cringe. The average person will cringe. And the reason why you cringe is because the empathy within you sympathize with them and don't want to see them fail. As humans, it is natural for majority of us to want to see each other win. So we don't watch videos hoping that people are going to mess up or things like that. I mean, some people do, but they're a special kind of case or whatever. But for the most part, as humans, we are rooting for each other because of our empathy. We are able to see ourselves in each other. You know what I'm saying? So it's important for you to know that like it doesn't care. It doesn't matter what other people will think. That's their opinion. That's their business. What matters is what you think about yourself. And in this life, like basically you want to live it to your full potential. And in this life, you are being called maybe not to be a parent, not to be a mother, not to be a nurturer, or if you are basically, or if you are a parent or a, or a mother, a father or a nurturer, it's important for you to incorporate balance. It's in, or it's important for you to incorporate your public yourself as a public figure because with this placement you are meant to be some form of a public figure. You are meant to be known in your industry for whatever it is that you are passionate about and people are meant to see you and know you for this thing having to do with some kind of a business. So say for example you make the best popcorns you are meant to be known as a public figure, you know, the popcorn man or the popcorn woman or whatever. But I think you guys get what I'm trying to say. So yes, with the North Node in Capricorn, you are being encouraged to step up out of your home and move into basically move up to that mountain, move up to the mountain where everybody could look up and see you speaking on the mountain and expressing yourself. You don't have to be speaking Whatever it is that you're doing will be in the public light. And if you are miserable in your life right now, that is because deep down you know that you should be out there, stepping out there, putting yourself out there, but you are afraid of putting yourself out there because again, you're afraid of the embarrassments and things that come with it. And like I tell you, like I said earlier about my booger situation, 
the more you put yourself out there, the more you start to realize that it doesn't matter what other people think of you because their thoughts of you, negative thoughts of you is a reflection of their own inner world and what they're seeing within themselves. And it is natural to make mistakes. And if you knew better, you would do better. So when you make a mistake, do better next time. And from my personal experiences, I find that a lot of my mistakes are innovative. In the process of me solving them, I am able to give birth to new ways of doing things that add way more value to my life and even financial value because it helps me to see a path that I couldn't see before, you know? So yeah, I think I've said enough. If you are still here with me, please drop me a blue heart in the comment box below. Share your experience with this placement. I would love to hear from you. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.